This is one of them stories that make you want to hug your sister, hug your mother, that make you want to be more involved and find out who they dating, who they dealing with. How did you meet this man? Four hours since the body of Alicia Watts was found in a cemetery in Montgomery County, and there are still a lot of unanswered questions about her death. Many of them now focused on the man accused of her murder. And her death also sparking conversations about dating and how to do it safely. The body of Alicia Watts was found in a cemetery after her family had no idea she was even missing. Jamise Price took those questions to experts and joins us live in Moore County tonight. Jamise. Steve, Alicia case resonated with a lot of people, especially those who are dating. And I often heard on the ground from those people who were searching for her that Alicia could have been me, a young woman that's dating but not knowing what's lurking in their partner's past. Rest in peace to the young queen, Alicia Watts. Her family, has no idea what could have happened to her. They can only suspect it has something to do with the person she was dating. And in the case of James Dunmore, the man accused of killing Alicia, he has an alleged history of violence against women. Dating, dating. Let me ask you a question. To all my guys on here, how involved are y'all with y'all, who y'all sisters dating? How involved are y'all and who y'all mama dating? You know what I mean? Like. Do we really pay that much attention? Most of the times, I know I try to be hands off because I don't want to be too much in my sister's business. As long as ain't nobody putting your hands on you, cool, be happy. But this right here makes you say, no, I got to meet, be more involved. I got to meet every nigga you dealing with. If you going over to his crib, I got to meet him. If you around him for extensive hours, you leaving his house late at night, I got to meet him. Dating is a dangerous game in 2023, my boys. We have seen um, a very much uh, increase in um, domestic violence related homicides this year. And sadly, 39 year old Alicia Watts is now among that number a victim of domestic violence. Police say it was her then boyfriend, 51 year old James Dunmore, who killed her. He was never listed as a suspect by police, but always a point of suspicion by her family and friends as detailed and this 911 call after she disappeared. Oh, this is just not her. It's kind of strange. Hey, okay. and I, I just, I, it worked quite me because I know that she just started talking to this guy. That guy is Dunmore. His records outline a violent past. He was sentenced to five years in prison on a felony assault and battery charge on a family member, plus a kidnapping charge back in 2002 in Virginia. He's also convicted of assault in North Carolina back in 2006. Documents obtained by ABC 11 allege Dunmore physically assaulted and abducted another woman in the Charlotte area in March. The complaint lists allegations of prior acts of violence to include choking, punching, and verbal attack. Now, in a case of Alicia, we don't know if Alicia knew about his past, but a lot of women pride themselves on dating killers. A lot of women pride themselves on dating men with a past, dating men with a jail history, dating men who just came home from a body. That could be dangerous for you, shorty. The same way he's so easy to snap and take a life in the street, you messing with his heartstrings. If he in love with you for real, the crazy will really come out. You think a nigga get crazy to impress some niggas in the street? He'll definitely get crazy if his pride is hurt. It can feel um, jarring to, to think you know someone um, but find out new information, right? And a letter from Alicia Watts' sister earlier this month questioned whether she had found out about Dunmore's past. Her sister wrote, your lies and deceit have a funny way of catching up with you. And just when the veil had been removed from my sister's eyes, she started to see the real you. Risk of homicide drastically increases in abusive relationships when actually that person is leaving the relationship. The family knew something was wrong. The family didn't trust that man. The family said if something happened to her, it had to have something to do with the dude she was dealing with. Cause she don't get into no issues like this. She don't get into these type of problems. It has to have something to do with that dude she was dealing with. And boy, were they right. Nisha Williams is the legal director of the North Carolina Coalition Against Domestic Violence. She's encouraging women to find ways to protect themselves while dating. She suggests a background check and turns out it's free at your county courthouse at the public service kiosk. The red flags you might be looking for on a criminal background check would be things like 
a violation of a domestic violence protective order or uh, having a charge of an assault or an assault on a female. So this guy has a history of violence. Not only a history of violence to men, but a history of violence to women as well. You read this dude jacket, you see it. Choking, punching, uh, verbal assault. Like, bro, the list goes on. Risk of homicide drastically increases in abusive relationships when actually that person is leaving the relationship. Did you hear that? The likelihood of a homicide rises in domestic violence situations when one party chooses to leave the relationship. So ladies, y'all heard that. I need y'all to safe up, bro. Learn who you talking to, man. Stop just meeting some random dude at the club. You find out he, he a little thug dude got a pass and you give him some box and start letting him in your crib and letting him around your kids. Like, no, do some research, man. Find out a little bit more information on these dudes, man. It's dangerous out here. Like, rest in peace to Alicia Watts. I don't want none of my viewers to end up like this young woman, Alicia Watts, man. Rest in peace to this queen. And these background checks are a powerful tool. We did our own background check on Dunmore, and that's how we were able to find out about these violent convictions. But these background checks are just a safety resource, not a requirement. Advocates say that women should be able to date without a fear of losing their life. In Moore County, I'm Janice Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. You heard that? Now you know how to get it. You can go right to the kiosk at the, your county clerk's office. You just met this dude, you don't know too much about him. You wanna figure out what does he have going on in his past? I know he a thug, he said he been in jail. Let me find out a little more. Maybe I should do that. Before you get all invested emotionally, invest a little bit of time. Walk up to your county, county clerk office in your local area, figure out what's going on, man. Jimmy Gang, I'ma end the video here. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I'm gone.